So Tristan, from past conversations that we've had, you mentioned that you always wanted a little brother. Can you believe that you have a little brother now? No, because I've been asking it ever since I was little. I've been asking for a little brother for a while, and it hasn't happened throughout that time until now. So now I, I couldn't believe that I had a brother. How is it like being a brother? It's, it's pretty different because uh, I used to be the only child for a long, long time until now. So it's pretty cool having to have a little brother. You get to do things like when you're older with him and stuff. Do you feel a sense of responsibility? Yes. Um, how I feel re a sense of responsibility is I like to play with him a lot and I feel like he needs that entertainment in life. And what I do to entertain him and play with him, I like getting the rocket ship, uh, turning on the lights and like playing with him in there. Or I get one of his toys and play with him. Or I like play fight, stuff like that, and make them laugh. Now let's get into something a little bit more lighter. What's your favorite breakfast? Mmm, pancakes. I love pancakes. Just the syrup, the butter, and then you just get that peanut butter and slap it on there, and oh, it's just so good. And then what I have on the side is milk. With milk, it brings it all down because of the peanut butter. <laughs> Should we give your brother some? No! No! Please! No! This is awful! No! I don't want breast milk! Please! Please, no! No! Papa, should we give some to your brother? No! 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 No, no way! No way I'm eating that! Stop! Stop! I'm not eating Who do you idolize and why? Who do I idolize? I idolize this YouTuber called Typical Gamer. He, in one of his YouTube videos, he like was talking about YouTube and you should like create a YouTube channel. And he motivated me to create my, to start my YouTube channel. And that's who I idolize because he's the one that made me start my YouTube channel. Would you like them in a house? Would you like them with the mouse? I do not like them in a house. I do not like them with the mouse. I do not like them here or there. I do not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam I am. These are leaves. A monkey. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> this is a car. Vroom, vroom. Seahorse. Dolphin. Oh, somebody's going asleep. That's it, your dunny. You learned your green eggs and ham and your car. He's knocked out. Look at him. <laughs> so, there was an incident between me and my And, um, she, I had a truck. She needed the truck to go camping with other family members. And I needed the truck to get to work. And she was asking for the truck because they were going to go camping. And I kept saying, no, I need to go to work, blah, blah, blah. And literally just gave her the truck. I didn't want the truck anymore. So 
I didn't have a way to get to work and she took off with the truck to go camping. Um, at that time, a friend of mine was working with me. We were both working at the same job and we both were going to the same place. So every day he would come pick me up five, four thirty in the morning. I think he did that for like a month or I think three months he did that. He would pick me up, take me to work with him, and then we'll come back together in the traffic, hot weather. I got a car that I was fixing up and we would work Monday through Friday and then he would come, I think every weekend or every other weekend whenever he wasn't working with his dad, he would come and help me with the car, fixing it up. Eventually we got the car working and then I started using that car to get to work. And that to me is a friend that's just there to help no matter what. Even if they go out of their way, they go out of their way to help. The crazy part is that he never asked me for gas money. He never asked me for anything. I would invite him to go lunch for our lunch breaks. So what is a friend to you? A friend to me is somebody who has your back, is funny, and is always there for you. And who's there for you through your ups and downs. So you're turning 13 this year, June 2nd. You've lived 13 years. So thinking back to how far, wherever, how far you can think of how young you were. Leading up to right now, what advice would you give your brother when he's 13? How would I know I'm just a kid? <laughs> but as right now, I would tell him the main focus is school, obviously. Have hobbies that you like, that you would like to do, and don't be bad meaning don't lie don't talk back do whatever your parents say and yeah that's the advice i would give to my brother when he's 13. Mm -hmm. 